what we're doing today is making a uh, bend test fixture. Um, bend testing is commonly done to certify welders, faces and roots, uh, maybe sides. What we have is uh, Tinius Olson out there that we purchased a long, long time ago. Tinius Olson is a company that makes a lot of testing equipment. Uh, it's really nice stuff, but it's very expensive. And we have to do some welder certs at another location. So what we're going to do is build this uh, bend test fixture and kind of save us some money. Um, uh, what it kind of looks like is right here, this is a plunger that goes on the top here. Uh, this is a U down here for the bottom of the fixture. And this red uh, piece right here represents a, a cut out of the weld. So that the weld will be right in the middle. Um, it goes into hydraulic press. This plunger goes down, bends this into a U like we have it right here. And then you examine the uh, bend, see how many cracks are in the actual bend to, to determine whether the person becomes a certified welder or not. So how we're going to do this is we're going to copy the tinnitus Olson best we can. This is about two inches thick right here. So I'm thinking that we're going to draw something in AutoCAD and cut it out of a half inch plate on the automated plasma cutter and just layer the four uh, pieces in to make it two inches and then we'll uh, weld this thing all up. So um, we'll get out there in the lab, show you the, the tinnitus Olson first and then start building this thing. This is the bend tester that we're going to duplicate. It's a Tinius Olsen, so it's official. That's just the plunger with a uh, bend that we already did in it. So we'll show you the material we're going to use to start with the plunger here. So this plunger is inch and a half. So we're going to get an inch and a half piece of solid round for the tip. And then we'll get a piece of square stock that is an inch and a half. Oops, by two inch for the rest of the plunger. And then we'll just cut this out a half inch plate out of the plasma. So we found a piece of inch and a half solid round and a one inch by two inch bar it needs to be inch and a half. So what we'll do is we'll cut that stuff down and then we'll add a half of an inch plate because that's all we got to make it a full uh, inch and a half thick. So now we'll head over to the band style and we'll start cutting this thing up. These are the two pieces we just cut right here. You can kind of see what we're doing now. And you can see this is a half inch. Um, it's missing a half inch thickness here. So we're going to go over to the plasma. And we're going to cut this bottom plate here, which is five inches by four inches. And then a half inch plate uh, that we can pad this up to make it the right thickness. So we'll go over to the plasma cutter and cut those out now. We're over here at an automated plasma cutter where we got to cut out the 4x5 inch square or rectangle uh, for the base and then we're going to cut out that half inch strip to make the uh, plunger an actual inch and a half thick. So we'll just show you how you can do a quick shape on this real quick. Now this is kind of nice because it's got a uh, system on here that lets you do uh, typical shapes that are used in engineering. So I'm going to click on the shapes right here. We just need a square. Or a rectangle actually so this is asking how wide do you want it five inches by four inches okay okay there's your shape right there leading lines here go to burn it there's your parameters hit okay we're ready to burn that plate out it's that easy if you didn't have this you'd have to use either a shear or good old-fashioned oxy fuel so we're going to burn out these two shapes and get back at it.
is what we got for prefab. You just gotta add a half inch thick plate here to make it an inch and a half total thickness. There's a round stock plate that goes on the back. So we're gonna weld this first, grind it flush, mount it to that, then mount uh, the round stock. And we should be uh, done with the plunger and be able to move on to the other part of the jig. This is the plunger that we just got done welding up. You can see it looks pretty close to the other one. The only difference is we didn't use as thick of a plate on the back side because we don't need it. We're gonna, th we're gonna put it into a hydraulic press anyways. So what I'll do now is I'll uh, grind that up a little bit. We'll show you that after it's been ground and then we'll uh, go into the other part of the jig. We just got uh, done grinding up our plunger there for the bend test fixture. Now what we're going to do is draw the other part in AutoCAD and we're going to cut out layers of half inch plate to make the correct thickness for the other section of the, the jig. So we'll go look at the computer. We just drew this in AutoCAD and where we got them measurements is right off of that. That's minus those two round stocks on the top. So what my thought is it has to be two inches wide so if we take um, four of those on a half inch plate uh, and stack them together that should be two inches and then we can drive the round stock into that slot on the top to make our fixture so let's go up to the plasma and burn that out and see what happens that's the first one we just cut out and that, that round fits in there real nice and snug. I actually had to use a hammer to get in there. So I think it's a go. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut three more of these out, sandwich them together, and this might be a lot easier than I thought it was gonna be. We got all four cut here. I'm just gonna clean off the slag, clean them up a little bit, and we'll try and put them together on the, uh, the solid rounds on the top part there. I've cleaned up our four cuts here, stacked them. It's right on the money, two inches. Lines right up with our old jig. So now what I'll do is I'll cut the solid rounds and I'll try and stick them solid rounds in those two holes on the top. What we're gonna try and do now is just drive those solid rounds right into those little sockets. Then we'll tack this baby up. This is a close up of what we got here. It worked. It was pretty snug, but that's okay, we wanted it snug. So what we'll do now, we'll weld it all up, get the base done, and we're ready to do final assembly here and uh, do a bend test. Before we tack this all together, we got uh, one last plasma cut to make, and that's that bottom plate that's on the Tinius Olsen fixture there, and that's uh, four by nine. So we'll cut that out, and then we're gonna tack this thing all together. We just cleaned up the plate that we cut out of the plasma cutter. We got her lined up. Now we're gonna take the TIG welder and we're gonna do the TIG welding portion of this, do some tacking, and some of the thinner stuff we're gonna weld it up.
So we take the rollers in on the top, tacked it on the bottom. Now we're going to go MIG at the base in. Then we'll come back and do some more TIG welding here on the top. Just go all the way around those, um, those solid rounds. Last thing we're going to weld here is uh, TIG. We're just going to finish up going around these um, solid rounds in here on both sides. And this thing should be wrapped up. We'll do a final cleanup and take a look at the final product. So let's TIG weld it. This is our final look at the uh, bend test fixture that we just did. I got a half inch bar on the top there. I don't know what, it's just a piece of scrap. I cut it down to six inches. Um, so we'll go over and throw it in a press and we'll bend this thing. I can't imagine it's not gonna work. It looks pretty good, I think, but we'll go over there and bend one real quick and wrap this up. There it is, that wraps up our um, bend test fixture project here. Uh, we did a half inch thick um, strip there. Bend it just fine. We're gonna head out. Thanks for watching and subscribing to TV Weld.